Last week, we talked about the three top reasons you want to learn what your secondary energy type is. Today, we're talking about how do you know your secondary energy type? How do you identify it? I'll give you some tips on how to do that and help you in that self-awareness. I'm Carol Tuttle, the best-selling author of seven books and the creator of Energy Profiling and Dressing Your Truth. And I have had the pleasure to assist literally millions of people around the world live a more fulfilled life by understanding who they are and understanding the people in their life. And I want to help you do the same. Thanks for subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you get the notifications each week when a new video goes live. I appreciate you being here. Now, I've written seven books and interestingly in my energy profiling books of which I've written three, it's just my nature, discover your type of beauty, which we have retired. Um, it's not a piece we market anymore. It had a real specific marketing purpose. And then the most popular of all of my energy profiling books is The Child Whisper. Now, interestingly, I didn't write about the secondary energy types in any of the books till I got to this book. Now, the reason I did that was because I wanted parents to understand this information earlier on so they could sense it, see it, and help support their child in developing the attributes that can be a benefit to their children from their secondary. But I can I say over and over, I have a um, public Facebook group called the Child Whisperer Facebook group. It has close to 7,000 members. Those are all parents, mostly moms, that have read the Child Whisperer and they support each other in parenting strategies using the Child Whisperer approach. And I tell them constantly, you do not need to know your child's secondary in order to raise them successfully, even just knowing their dominance. So your secondary plays a minor role in your day-to-day -day life. It's a support role. It's never as equal to or as expressive as your dominant. It just adds a little bit of variable to who you are. So that's important. We don't, it's not in a 50-50 position with your dominant energy. If anything, it's an 80-20 setup. And you wanna make sure it only has that expressive space in you. Because if it gets too strong, it's just kind of messing with you. So how do you identify with it? Well, in the Child Whisper, I do have a um, little bit of info here that you can read. I'll give you a little bit of, I'm gonna go over each one. There's a certain quality that most often expresses as the secondary energy when it is your secondary. We'll go through those. The, the most successful way I have found for women especially is to learn about how your secondary expresses in your style. My lifestyle content at dressingyourtruth.com is the place that we have robust amount of contents on that, of content on that. And there is a membership, small membership fee to access that, but it's really incredibly valuable if you're a, if dressing your truth is something you really want to fine tune for yourself and it makes life so much easier because you can just say, I get it. I know what I look good in and you can go about the other, uh, the other activities of your life and the, the shopping and the dressing becomes just second nature because you know your secondary and it's quick and it so you're just pulling able your ability to put together an outfit that's truly you over and over and over is just it, it compounds it gets easier and easier and it's that much more enjoyable and you don't even think about it anymore you don't even think about when i look good in this you don't put something on take it off put something else on i just i get dressed once in the morning and it's good to go and i know it looks great and because I, I fine-tuned it in my secondary. So learning about that is going to be one of the easiest ways to identify your secondary. But let's read through these, these four character traits that come through. And we'll see if you identify with any of them. And that's a way to see if your secondary is expressing in each of these references. So for type one, what to look for. Your nature will express, if you have a secondary type 1 energy, you're, you'll have a, a quality of cuteness, a sparkle, or playfulness at times. That will kind of come forward, and you'll have a lighter energy that you're feeling. It's not a primary expression of who you are. It's an added animation that can come through you in the places you feel that it brings it, brings it out. 
So it might be with certain people, <coughs> excuse me, certain settings, certain scenarios really bring out that quality. And for a uh, type two secondary energy, the character trait that's quite expressive is a gentle quality, a softness or sensitivity to your dominant and an emotional awareness of others that again is just sort of there uh, to access it's not it doesn't lead it's just something you can tap into that in a way softens your dominant energy and gives you a softer quality to your dominant for type three you have um you express more wanting an orientation to wanting results with a bit of a push that backs up your dominant type. And you have a desire for adventure and challenges, but it always is preceded by your dominant. But it shows up and you have, you like the outdoors and you have this connection more, a little bit more at the physical world. So that's a very, as I think of the people that I know that have secondary threes, they, it just kind of ramps up their dominant a little bit, gives it a little bit more dynamic quality. If you have a secondary four, what you're looking for is the ability to step back and look at the big picture with a keen eye. You also notice that for, um, in certain areas of your life, you want things um, orderly or more perfect, but not to the degree a type four would feel that. Now I'll give myself as an example, I have a secondary type four. I'm able to see that bigger picture and I do like my space more type four. I like less movement in it. I think of a type secondary one in my life. They have a little bit of a whimsy, you know, somebody that I know in my family that has a secondary one. My husband, there's this sort of whimsical animation that comes out of him in unexpected times. And I'm like, oh, there's that secondary energy. My daughter-in-law, I mentioned earlier, has a secondary type two. She has a sensitive quality to how she, she just brings it with her type three. And the, my daughter, Anne, has a secondary type three. She's got a real, for a type two, she's got an adventurous, quality to her type two that she likes to go on adventures, travel, take risks once in a while in a very methodical way. And uh, you can see these little variables that it adds to your secondary. So identifying your secondary, as we talked about last week, has value. Don't want it to take over. Today's video is to help you have some points of reference of how to identify it. And again, for those of you who really want to understand your secondary, my lifestyle content is full, full of videos, both about more about what we've talked about today, who you are as a human, not only just your style, but who you are, its value, when you want to, what do you do when it takes over? I have tips for you and um, self care tools to help you not let that happen. Go to dressingyourtruth.com forward slash lifestyle. Get involved in the community of women, of thousands and thousands of women that are supporting each other. It's one of the most beautiful spaces that I've ever experienced in our private Facebook group. It's really, in today's world, it's great to have a space where there's camaraderie. And we come from all different backgrounds, ethnicities, values, religion, um, either secular or more religious or whatever it is. It doesn't matter because we're coming together with common interests to rally each other and support each other in living our truth. That's a beautiful thing in today's world. Thanks for watching everyone. Subscribe, hit the button, the bell, and we'll see you next week. Let me know how this has helped you. What do you think your secondary is? Share in a comment.